Welcome to FOMO Consulting for your daily AMC stock analysis video on Sunday, June 27th. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we will have a huge breakout this week at some point. And as always, the apes are winning, the diamond hands are winning, most importantly, the retail investors winning. So if you find this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It is a newer channel, and I would appreciate the support. Let's get into the video. To everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. So let's start with a quote. No pressure, no diamonds. No struggle, no strength. We've certainly been through a lot of pressure and struggle over the last days, weeks, and months holding AMC stock, but we are certainly winning, and through that, we have found strength, and our diamond hands are getting harder by the day, which means we are winning. So let's look at crypto. Overall, crypto is having yet another rough day, uh, surprisingly, on the weekend, but no doubt because of this article that came out, crypto exchange Binance banned from doing business in the UK that came out about three or four hours ago. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of regulation going on, a lot of fear and concern about the unknown around crypto. Uh, but again, longer term, it's probably, or I believe it's still a good play. But overall, it has certainly had a volatile last few weeks. Always fun to look at. Certainly very bullish pre-timing for AMC. It shows a very bullish run, and I believe that to be true. So overall, Friday, nothing too terribly bad. We closed at $54.06, down $2.64, 4.66% down, up a little bit after hours. I believe last week was somewhat of an anomaly due to the rebouncing of the Russell. Uh, obviously, we were being shorted to no end last week. A lot of positioning, I believe, around uh, 002. So I expect a far, far different result this upcoming week. So this was the trading week. You could tell overall throughout the entire trading week, they wanted to keep us in this channel uh, between 50 and 60. And you can certainly tell after hours pre-market when they set up heavy sell walls, uh, which is unusual, quite frankly, uh, that they want to keep price pin, keep it from running uh, pre-market and after hours. Keep an eye on that as we go through the week to see if they let it run. Uh, no doubt, I believe, we will break out of this channel this week. That is just my personal opinion. Uh, my personal Fidelity account uh, would allude to the same, that a breakout up to $79.10 is certainly feasible as long as $49.50 remains support. So let's take a look. Again, $60 level, certainly very, very, very important. We all know that probably an invisible sell wall was set there last week. We'll see how we react this week as we approach that level. But the MACD RSI is certainly in a very, very uh, positive location for a bull run. And obviously, we are in somewhat of a wedge formation, uh, at least on the one hour and certainly on the daily. So we'll keep, keep an eye on this, but I expect a breakout, uh, quite frankly, any moment now. So I showed this yesterday, but we're going to take a deeper dive here. So hidden bullish divergence. It happens when the price is making a higher low, uh, but the oscillators, specifically the MACD and the RSI, are making lower lows. And as you can see by the overall chart on the top left, that is typically how it looks like. The price can also be relatively flat, which would mean the bulls are in control, regardless of the bears trying to press it down. So let's take a look at this. So six. $60, we know that's the uh, key level to get past, 60 62 But more specifically, uh, after the big run-up, you can see where the price action fell off. Uh, it followed the indicators, MACD and RSI, on a downward trend. That is bearish. Currently, we are making higher uh, lows, uh, albeit slightly. And the RSI and MACD have been in a downtrend for a couple of weeks now. RSI has a usual bounce area around 30 to 40, as you can see. So if you look each and every place, we get down to that level, we bounce, and then the price pops up. Where we are today, we'll see what that looks like. And also, if you notice, uh, before each and every pop, the volume falls way off, and then we spike. Low volume, spike. Low volume, spike. 
low volume spike low volume we'll see if we spike i believe we will very shortly that is very bullish so let's look again again different perspective one hour chart you can certainly see where the price followed the oscillators right but now we are making a higher low if if not flat which is still very bullish and the oscillators are all trending down and they have been over the last couple of weeks right i believe we will bounce very very soon again if you look at the volumes we've been having lower volumes then we have a uptick and then we have a price jump uptick price jump uptick we'll see what happens and again the rsi likely to bounce we are down in that bounce range and that's why i feel very very bullish about this week we are poised for a bullish bounce so let's see how this works on another stock like gme so going back uh, a couple of months you can certainly see price running up oscillators going down and the price jumped shortly thereafter a couple of days alligator's mouth was wide open lo and behold early june price going up oscillators going down price jump here we are again price going up oscillators down there will be a pop so let's look at another stock tesla so let's go back this goes back to about a year ago or so and let's just follow the trend uh, over the course of a year so you look you've got basically a solid price level you've got lower indicators shortly thereafter you see where it bounces off that rsi channel you get a price pop you have upward trending price action albeit uh, slow but sure downward oscillators price jump upward trend on price downward on oscillators same thing now you look at the volume you can see the volume tailed off as soon as the price popped volume picks up right so let's look at another popular stock neo see if it holds true price going up oscillators down rsi price pop oscillators going down pop price going up oscillators down price jump and again if you look at the volumes lower volumes then you have the spike lower volumes then you have the spike let's look at google google is a hard stock to move in a big way let's see if it works you've got a price uh, around a flat range similar to what we are today oscillators going down clearly and again this is on the daily chart rsi still in that channel around 40 price jump flat overall price oscillators going down price jump and those are big moves for google again flat on price oscillators down big price jump price going up oscillators down price jump again look at the volumes lower volumes price jump lower volumes price jump. so overall that seems to work so let's come back to amc so here we are right before the big run-up price trending slightly upwards oscillators going down price jump as you can see price went down oscillators went down bearish so now we are having another pop we have now leveled out oscillators going down we are poised for a price jump again look at the rsi the yellow trend we tend to bounce in that 30 to 40 range and again we are there so again looking at the volumes volumes ran low before our big run-up same thing another lower volume or a tail off and then we had another price jump lower volumes again currently we'll see what this week brings but quite frankly this is why i'm so very very bullish about a uh, about a potential breakout so let's we'll take one more look here uh, the big run up you can see oscillators uh, following price downwards that is bearish we are currently on a uh, flat if not slight uptick on higher lows 
oscillators going down, and I believe that is very, very bullish. F9 is rocking it, absolutely rocking it. So almost 60 million domestically over two days, uh, 350 million worldwide. Absolutely fantastic for the box office, certainly for AMC, and should create a lot of positive media attention around box office sales. So we've been through this a million times, but 433 institutional investors, if you look just to the right of that, you have 393 long only positions. We are not wrong, ladies and gentlemen. 393 institutional investors in a long only position is not fool's gold. It is not a quote unquote meme stock. It is institutions looking to make money and believe in what we believe is that this price run is not done, that there will be further bullish action, and that we are not all crazy. But more importantly, you look at the indicator shares on loan 97 million. 14 short only positions uh, on Friday, 14 million borrowed, 3.59 uh, returned. Utilization is continuing to go up, no doubt, and short interest I expect will go up yet again tomorrow morning, but we are currently at 18.67. And the indicators for the short interest trend lines would agree with that. So let's look at the battle lines uh, where we can look for the heavy manipulation. Uh, the battles between the, uh, the longs and the shorts this week. Certainly, we are at the $54 level starting out. The 60 area, you can see on the call side, you're starting to get a lot of volume around that, getting volume around the 65 level and volume around the 90, uh, 70 level and above. So I believe we are perfectly set up. I do believe a 6570 is certainly in play this week. Uh, at minimum, we'll see how it plays out, but they cannot continue in, uh, to short this position. It's costing them millions each and every day to try to suppress this. And again, regardless of what they do, it could be this week, next week, uh, two weeks from now. Charts don't lie. History repeats itself over and over again. They can only hold this down for so long. So let's look at the call volume and put volume. Certainly very bullish, nearly a two to one. A uh, lot of call volume at 617,000 versus put volume of 375. We'll see how the chart builds out over the week and where the uh, overall open interest kind of consolidates to. But I believe somewhere in the mid 60 to 70 will be the range. Let's close with a quote. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. There's a lot of fun, a lot of negative hit pieces. There's a lot of people trying to put fear and doubt in your head, make you believe something that's not there. Rest in the facts. Do your due diligence. Uh, the data does not lie. Numbers do not lie. People lie. <laughs> So overall, thank you, as always, for watching. If you did find the video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It is a newer channel. But as always, I hope your life is full of green candles, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.